Well, hello, and thank you for checking out this course on the DP900 exam, Microsoft Azure Data Fundamentals. My name is Scott Duffy. This course is complete preparation for the DP900 certification that's offered by Microsoft Azure. The DP900 certification is a foundational fundamental exam. It is for people who are just beginning to work with data and databases in the cloud. If you take and pass the DP900 exam, you will be able to call yourself certified as data fundamentals and you'll get a badge that you can put on your resume on your LinkedIn. Now, this is an optional certification in that there are no other certifications that are dependent on it. If you're interested in becoming a data engineer or a database administrator, you do not need to take and pass this certification. That being said, this could be a stepping stone to get you into those more advanced certifications. Being a fundamentals exam, it is also less expensive than other certifications. It's only 99 US dollars or equivalent compared to $165 for the other certifications. If you take and pass the DP900 exam, this could lead you into several of these database paths within Azure. You can go the database administrator route or go to the data engineer route. In fact, if we look at one of the recent publications from Microsoft, you can see that we have a fundamentals course, in this case, DP900, and you have a data scientist, data engineer, AI related stuff, or even go ahead to the Azure Solutions Architect. Now, because this is a Microsoft exam, the databases that are being discussed are Microsoft databases. This is a focus on Microsoft Azure, specifically in the cloud. So there's not gonna be Oracle and other questions on this exam. If you go to your favorite search engine and enter DP900, you'll be taken to a page such as this, which is the landing page for the Azure Data Fundamentals exam. This page will tell you everything that you need to know, including the specific requirements that are on the exam. We can break down the core areas of the exam as follows. One topic of the exam are core data concepts. These are sort of the absolute basics when you're working with data, whether you're working in the cloud or working with on-premises databases, that covers 15 to 20% of the exam. Moving into relational databases, this is the traditional SQL Server, tables, columns, keys, et cetera, 25 to 30% of the exam. The third section is non-relational data. So we're talking about Cosmos DB and Azure Table Storage. It's 25 to 30% of the exam. And finally, what you do with this data, the data analytics portion is also 25 to 30%. So we can see that this exam covers the basics of Microsoft Azure data topics. And this course is gonna cover that one by one. Thank you so much for checking this out. And we're gonna get right into it right after this.